comfortable with. That's all you have to do. So that's where we're going to go with this. And so in a few moments, when I say go, please stand up. Go. Thank you. Go ahead and push your chairs back into the table so that you can move easily behind those chairs. So you're going to need a partner or a trio for this next activity. Only a partner or a trio. Please find a partner or a trio to stand with. Go. First, choose between you. All right, where's my partnerships? Who are partners in here? Partners? Okay, where's my trios? Trios? Okay, excellent. Thanks. Relax your hands. All right, this is how it's going to work. Partners and trios. Same like we did last time. Partners, you're going to actually choose between the two of you. Who is going to be person A and who is going to be person B? And there will be two Bs if there is a trio. Decide. <laughs> Here we go. So now all I'm going to do right now is invite you to play a uh, mental recorder of uh, the way that we do things. But mostly what I'm looking for is uh, what do you notice, if anything, how music affects what we're doing. All right? So right now, where are the Bs? Bs. Bs, this time, that stands for blobs. Blobs. So blobs, if you would please just kind of blob up next to person A. Blob up. Person A. Person A. A stands for artiste. Artiste, you're to take this mere lump of the clay and mold it, shape it, and create a statue. Please remember to play respectfully with your statues. Ready? Create! Go!
wherever you are, this is a two-parter. First part, please say thank you to your partners. Second part, please look at your partners. Please turn your partner and say, I didn't mean anything by what I just did. Please go ahead and have a seat. with that song, yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's, it's a novelty song. It's kind of survived the years, and now it's played at a lot of different functions. And so when you play that, everybody knows why, and see it. And we just automatically start doing it. We don't even know why, we just know it. And so it's a really great way to play, be, be build in playfulness in, the, in your classes, especially when you've been sitting too long, and just have them stand up and do the YMCA. So music can do a lot of work for you. But let's talk about that activity that we just did, the artist and the blob activity. What, did, if, what happened, if anything, what did music add to that, if anything? Okay, laughter, creativity, motivation. Get made it fun, right? Yes? Yeah, it becomes the cueing, because as soon as it came off, you knew you were going to get another direction, something else to do with it, yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of creates this energy around it that lets you be playful, right? Because you're like, oh, well, everybody's doing this. Okay, we're all right. That's what I was going to say. It helps you remove some of the inhibition. It's like, oh, here we go. Yeah, so we're kind of just all playing and being playful with that. You bet, yes. So, um... Let me ask you this. Did the music that I used for that activity, um, did it matter? Yes. Yeah, right? So like, well, what if I had, um, what if I put on uh, this song? This song, what if I used this music instead? <laughs> we might have seen some statues that we didn't want to see. <laughs> So the choice of music is going to be really important to the way that you make your selections. And, and, and so I'm going to be playful with it, but I'm always going to find use music that's upbeat and different things uh, of that nature. So yeah, we're looking at how do we make music uh, match what we're doing and the content that we're delivering, anything like that. So I know that we're short on packets. And so what I would do is I'm just going to invite you to go ahead and open up the packet and see if you can find the four places and share it with people around.